Hello viewers, I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma and you are watching my channel Chem Philip. Let's start another episode of Teaching Chemistry Through Riddles. I request you to see the video till the end so that you can enjoy the complete riddle. So let's start riddle number 15. I belong to a class of five membered ring compounds. We are stable like benzene. We prefer to get connected with electron loving species. Our family members contain an odd atom in the ring. My addition product with hydrogen is considered as a good solvent in organic chemistry. Unlike benzene, and other members of my family, I can undergo a popular cycloaddition reaction with olefin. So, this is the riddle. Now, see the question. The primary question is, who am I? Which group do I belong? Guess the answer. The answer is, who am I? The answer is furan. Which group do I belong? Group is 5 membered heterocyclic compounds. Now, let's see the other questions. Question number 2. Name the other 2 members of my family. Why we are stable compounds? Question number 3. Name the cycloaddition reaction given by me. Question number 4. What is the name of the solvent formed by the addition of hydrogen? Now, let's discuss these five member heterocyclic compounds, their stability and, and, and aromatic character. Five member heterocyclic compounds, these are pyrrole, furan and thiophin. All of them are ring compounds and in the ring there are four carbon atoms and one heteroatom. In furan, the heteroatom is oxygen. In thiophin, heteroatom is sulfur. In pyrrol, the heteroatom is nitrogen. Now, what is indicated by these structures? Number one. These compounds must have properties of conjugated dyne. Conjugated dyne means two double bonds must be separated by a single bond. In all the compounds, we are finding that two double bonds are separated by single bonds. So, they are conjugated dyne. So, that means they should have the properties of conjugated dyne. Second part. It all should be basic in nature and must possess the properties of amines. We know that ammonia and amines are basic because the nitrogen atom has lone pair of electrons which can be donated to proton. So like them, this pyrrol in pyrrol also, the nitrogen atom has lone pair of electron. So it can be expected that pyrrol is basic in nature and it has the properties of amines. Number 3. Furan and thiophene must be ether and thioether. Furan is like ether compound. Oxygen is attached to two carbon groups. Here, thioethers. Thiophene is just like thioethers. Sulfur is attached to two carbon groups. All these things we expect. But what is the observed fact? Or what are the observed facts? Number 1. It all does not have the properties of amines. Number two, thiophene does not undergo oxidation. Number three, all this compound they resist addition reaction but highly reactive towards electrophilic substitution reaction like phenol and aniline. We know that active aromatic compounds like phenol and aniline are more reactive towards electrophilic substitution reaction than benzene. And these compounds, these five member heterocyclic compounds, pyrrole, furan, and thiophene, they are also highly reactive towards 
electrophilic substitution reaction in fact more reactive than benzene and their reactivity is comparable with the active aromatic compounds like phenol and aniline. Now, the resonance energy calculated from the heat of combustion for this compound is found to be 22 to 28 kilocalorie per mole which is much higher than that of the conjugated dynes. Conjugated dynes, the resonance energy is 3 kilocalorie per mole. But these compounds are much more stabilized by resonance. Okay? So, their resonance energy is much higher than that of conjugated dyne. So, what is the conclusion? What conclusion we can draw? Pyrrole, furan and thiophene may be aromatic. Let's explain. Now, explanation of the aromatic character from molecular orbital theory. Now we see the electronic configuration. For carbon, electronic configuration is ground, in ground state, it is 1 is to twice is to twice p2. And the two electrons in the p orbital are unpaired. They are present in two different p orbitals, so px and py. In the excited state, one of the twice electrons gets unpaired and promoted to higher energy 2p orbital. Now, all three p orbitals have 1,1 one, one electron. Now, this twice orbital and 2p orbital, say px and py, they undergo sp2 hybridization and form three sp2 hybrid orbitals. And each sp2 hybrid orbital contains one one electron. Coming to nitrogen, electronic configuration in the ground state, one is two, twice is two, twice p3. All these three electrons in the p orbitals are unpaired. They are present in px, py and pz orbitals. Now in the excited state, one of these twice is electron gets unpaired and promoted to higher energy p orbital. And now this twice s orbital and this px and py, say so these are px and py orbital, they undergo sp2 hybridization and form three sp2 hybrid orbitals. And each sp2 hybrid orbital contains one one unpaired electron. And the other p orbital, say it is pz orbital, which is not involved in the hybridization, it contains a pair of electrons. Now coming oxygen in the ground state. Oxygen 1 is to twice is to twice p4. In one of the p orbital, electrons are paired. Say so it is 2px orbital and 2py and 2py orbital, they have 1,1 one, one electron. Now what happened? In the excited state, one of these twice is electron gets unpaired and promoted to this 2pz 2pz orbital and now this twice s orbital and this 2p orbitals that is p2px and 2py they undergo sp2 hybridization and form three sp2 hybrid orbitals. Now one sp2 hybrid orbital contains this pair of electron the other two sp2 hybrid orbital contains one one electron each. Now coming to sulfur. Electronic configuration of sulfur in the ground state is 1 is 2, twice is 2, twice P6, thrice is 2, thrice P4. That means in the 3P orbital, 1P orbital has a pair of electrons, say it is 3PX orbital, other 2P orbital has single electrons. 3D orbital is vacant. Now, just like oxygen for sulfur also in the excited state, one of these 3s orbital gets unpaired and promoted to higher energy 3p orbital. Now, this 3s orbital and this 2p, uh, this 2 3p orbital, that is say 3px and 3py, they undergo sp2 hybridization and form 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals. 2 sp2 hybrid orbital contains 1,1 one, one electron each and the third sp2 hybrid orbital contains a pair of electron. And another pair of electron is present in the pure p atomic orbital. Say it is pz orbital. Now, so after the 
this hybridization, say this oxygen atom, it forms two sigma bond with the two ring carbon atoms by sp2, sp2 overlapping. And the third sp2 hybrid orbital contains this pair of electron. Now coming to carbon atom. Now the carbon atoms, say this two carbon atom, they form this two sigma bond. Uh, one is with oxygen and another is with another ring carbon atom by sp2, sp2 overlapping and the third sigma bond is with this hydrogen by sp2s overlapping that is with the 1s orbital of hydrogen and these two carbon atoms they form two sigma bond with two ring carbon atoms by sp2, sp2 overlapping and one sigma bond with hydrogen atom. Okay. Now, after this formation of all sigma bonds, each carbon atom and the hetero atom is left with one p orbital. So, it is pz orbital and for the carbon atom, uh, the p, each pz orbital contains one one electron. That means for each carbon atom, this pz orbital contains one one electron and the hetero atom, for this hetero atom, say here it is oxygen, this pz orbital contains a pair of electron. And this p orbitals lying perpendicular to the ring. Now, these p orbitals they overlap sidewise in both the direction and form delocalized pi electron clouds like benzene above and below the ring. This is shown for pyrrole, all at same only. So, pyrrole, furan. And thiophene, they have delocalized pi electron cloud like benzene. Now, in this pi electron cloud, how many pi electrons are there? Four p electrons from the four carbon atoms, and the hetero atom has two p electrons, that means total six pi electrons. So, this pi electron cloud with six pi electrons, which is in accordance with Huckel's rule of aromaticity. According to the Huckel's rule, the aromatic compounds must contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons. So, 4 into 1, n is equal to 1 plus 2, that means 6 pi electrons. And these compounds also have 6 pi electrons. So, these compounds, that means pyrrole, furan and thiophene, they have delocalized pi electron cloud and they obey Huckel's rule of aromaticity. So, they are aromatic in nature. Now, According to valence bond theory, the aromatic character or extra stability of this compound can be explained by resonance. Then these are the resonating structures of pyrrole and then this is resonating structures of furan and this is resonating structures of thiophene. Now in this resonating structure, this one, first one is non-polar structure, remaining are polar structure where positive negative charge separation is there. And one thing you observe here, in the polar resonating structure, this ring carbon atom acquires negative charge and the odd atom is getting the positive charge everywhere. Here, the nitrogen is getting positive charge, here oxygen is getting positive charge, here sulfur is having positive charge. And ring carbon atoms are negatively charged because of this resonance. Now, why only furan undergoes diacylder reaction but not pyrrole and thiophene? The resonating structure of pyrrole, furan and thiophene, already we have seen the positive charge is present on the hetero atom. Now, oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen and sulfur. Oxygen is present in furan. And the positive charge on this more electronegative oxygen atom makes the polar resonating structure less stable because positively charged oxygen is less stable. So, the polar resonating structures are less stable for furan. Therefore, in the resonance hybrid, the contribution of the non-polar structure is more in furan compared to pyrrole and thiophene. Now, this non-polar structure is just like this conjugated diene. So, non-polar structure has the properties of conjugated diene. And this non-polar structure has more contribution in the resonance hybrid structure compared to pyrrole and thiophene. 
and the disulfide reaction is the characteristic reaction of conjugated di and since the furan has more uh, diene character so only furan undergoes disulfide reaction now what is disulfide reaction the disulfide reaction is an electrocyclic reaction which involves 4 plus 2 cyclo addition of four pi electrons of the conjugated diene and two pi electrons of the dienophile dienophile is either alkene or alkyne the reaction involves the formation of new sigma bonds which are energetically more stable than the pi bonds let's see so here four plus two cyclo addition reaction see this is 13 butadiene a conjugated diene Okay, here it has four pi electrons, and this is ethylene. Here, ethylene has two pi electrons. Okay, now in the disulfide reaction, what happens? Say this pi bond breaks down and form a bond with this carbon atom, and this pi bond shifted here, and this pi bond form forms a bond with this carbon atom. So finally, there is a generation of two sigma bond, this bond and this bond. and these sigma bonds are more stable than pi bonds already we know that now disulfide reaction of furan in furan undergoes disulfide reaction with malic and hydride and form this adduct here also in the similar way this pi bond breaks down and form a bond with this through this carbon atom it form bond with this carbon atom this pi bond shifted here and this pi bond forms a bond with this carbon atom and finally we'll get this adduct now let's see the answers of the remaining questions number 2 name the other two members of my group why we are stable compounds okay already you know the answers the other two members are pyrrole and thiophene these heterocyclic compounds are aromatic and aromatic compounds have extra stability so these compounds are also stable number 3 name the cyclo addition reaction given by me so it is disulfide reaction number 4 what is the name of the solvent formed by the addition of hydrogen this is tetrahydrofuran the addition product of this furan with hydrogen it gives this tetrahydrofuran that now there is no unsaturation pi bonds breaks down and add it with hydrogen and this tetrahydrofuran is good organic solvent so this was the riddle number 15 you can watch my other videos the link is given in the description box i'll be eagerly waiting for your suggestion and valuable comments